All right, this is just a quick follow-up to Steve's video. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about using multiple pitches and doing auto rebuild roofs. So I've got just a, a goofy-shaped uh, house built here. And I'm going to go up here and turn on auto, auto rebuild. I'm going to set the pitch to 10. Um, and say okay. So there's a, there's all my roofs. So I'm gonna select this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we're gonna make those gables. So there's all my gables. And then I wanna Pick up that point, come over here and break that wall. And then we're going to make this one a hip. And we'll take a look at that. So I've got uh, a pitch of 10 everywhere. So now I'm going to come in here, I'm going to select this wall, that one, that one, and that one. I'm going to open those up, and I'm going to change that to 12. Say OK. You can see the roof change right there. Come back over here, and now I've got a pitch of 12 on there. Let's say I decide that this roof is a little too steep, the main roof, I want to change it. So I'm going here, let's make it 8. I hope this, that looks like it's a little, I, I don't like that, so I'm going to, Let's make it nine. There we go. So you can you can put roof directives in walls, and that allows you to quickly build your roof with the auto roof builder. Now it's kind of doesn't always work. Like you can see right here, I only have a 13 and a half inch overhang instead of the 18 inch I've got right there. I can make a change in the settings and that fixes that. You can see it moves the baseline. Brought the baseline out. Anyway, using using the uh, roof directives and walls and the auto roof builder makes building a mixed pitch roof pretty easy. And uh, and it lets you, you know, you can visualize things. You can see what a, a quick change to your your pitch is going to look like.